understand that the world's with you. Tom Barry, are you giving birth in the taxi? But I'm not pregnant. Are you dying? No. Has war broken out in the country? War? Have you been robbed? Never. Back to sender. Tom Barry, why are you calling me eight straight times on a Monday morning when you know how busy my work is? Why? Susan, I'm detecting a lot of hostility in your voice. Hostility? Hostility? Let me tell you what hostility is. Tom Barry, I just got this job. I have not slept all through last weekend. I have been working all night, every night. Tom Barry, I have not slept. I am trying to sleep and you are calling me every second, every second, every second. Tom Barry, what have I done to you? I've told you before, if you're not happy for people who have boyfriends, God is not going to give you your own boyfriend. So be happy for me. Anyway, I was calling because of Timmy. He's not picking my calls. I've called him 17 times, sent him 10 text messages. 17 what? You know, right? Hey, maybe I should call him some more. 24 is my lucky number. I should call him several more times. You call up your mom. How does this mad person have a boyfriend who wants to marry her? What did you say? I said, you are a marvelous person with a boyfriend who is so mad about you. Yeah, right. He's mad about me. Yet I've called him a few times. Tom Barry, 17 calls and 10 text messages is not a few. Now you are just being vindictive and petty. He had better not be with another baby. This is hard. This is really hard. My job is to make it easy for you. You know, I thought raising deposit for banks will have it. This is acute. It's usually difficult the first time but yours is just gonna be once and it's not that complicated you know you <laughs> give me what I want and take what you want how can this not be complicated I mean this isn't a simple business transaction this is a sentimental trinkets with lots of conflicting variables Ring. It has to be beautiful for her and then beautiful for me. It must be a reflection of what I feel about her, what she means to me, but still not betray the very prudence, which is the cornerstone of my profession. The consecution of my choices here, I remit. What? Look, my choice here today will be the first building block of what is to be our legacy, which is a potential economic dynasty. This is huge. This is huge. This is huge. Please stop with all this grammar and buy... Which one do you want? Buy the most expensive one. Let's get done with it. Please. Ah. And to think I was liking you. How could you be so callous? I am not careless. I didn't say careless. I said callous, mm. as in unfeeling and insensitive. Mm. And that is why I don't like relationships. I mean, they're so messy and unnecessarily complicated. Now look at this. Let's say I buy her the most expensive ring and then she says no. It becomes a total waste. An expensive reminder of an inconclusive transaction. I mean, I might as well just uh, invest the money. But if I buy her a cheap, Symbolic one, and then she says yes. Then we'll negotiate on getting her a much more acceptable ring later. But then again, she might not like the cheaper one. <laughs> and there is no telling what that crazy woman would do. I finally understand you. You are just a stingy man in disguise. 
who speaks plenty grammar just to convince himself that he's not. Relationships are messy, just like making banga soup. But once it's done, who cares about the mess? As long as it's delicious and goes down well with starch. Well, do whatever it's in your mind, that's the most important thing. And uh, as for me, if a man buys me a cheap ring, <laughs> that means he's planning for a cheap life. And I'm not having any of that. Seriously. <laughs> you know, in a strange but intriguing way, you do make a good argument. No, 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 no. Take this one. This, that's, that's the cheapest one. Please, try yeah. something more expensive. But this one is more practical. I mean, plus I like it. It's, it's beautiful. Eh? Yeah, you are really stingy. Dear darling, sweet darling, your smile is like the early morning. Um, <laughs> Madam, uh, I just want to inform you just now. Say we we we're gonna need to wait more here. Eh? Um, actually, uh, the car just developed some small problem. Now injector, sir. Yeah, they they check. I'm sure you observe when they do chicken chicken for for us when they come now. How is that my problem now? Uh, just calm down, sir. I don't call mechanic. Eh? You go soon come. Just be a little patient. Ah, oh, see, eh? please give me back my money. Or put me in another cab. Get you another car. But damn, you don't sort that from. No airport where they come from. Oh, but just take me back to the airport. Airport? Ah. <laughs> Done a fresh money with that. Is that my Ah. Calm down. Ah. You know see how this place be? You make all this one chance people carry you? Ah. No now. Small madam, just relax more. Eh? Yeah, that's all. Just stay, just stay calm, easy. Susan, he's not still picking you. Somebody, don't call me again. Don't call me again till 4 p.m. I have to send him a report. Stop shouting now. It's just 17 times. I just called him one more time now from... Don't call me again! Don't call my boss is calling me, huh? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm on my way to the office, sir. Yes, sir. Madam, 17 times. You call one person 17 times. You call one man 17 times. How do you want to marry? Some is the trouble. You go call one person 17 times. You don't know, say plenty. Ha. Is it your credit I'm using? You must be from a polygamous home. I know. From the look of your face. You come from Polygamo's home. I've had enough of this nonsense. Taxi driver now wants to become a relationship counselor. Hey, this world wicked. Oh. That your stepmother don't go see that papa for Elisha to do you that juju. That juju will make you the call somebody 17 times when not take your call. Oh, oh. but don't worry. <laughs> Today, the Lord will deliver you. Amen. You see, I have a younger brother. He's a deliverance pastor, a very strong one. He will break that juju. He go break him. You go see us, my man. Say amen. He go deliver you. Look, me, I get it. Me, I know. Say, look, he go deliver you. Say amen. You go get better husband. We be like me. Say amen. You go get children. Fine, fine one. Say amen. Look, you know, go call person 17 times again. Say amen. Ah, uh, so, madam, you are not saying amen. Ah, uh, no, now. Look, this is a very serious matter. I, I hope so you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't talk because we need to start fasting. Fast for yourself to be delivered from Kabu Kabu and Poknosin spirit. Ah, this your own. It's bad, oh. It's your own case that's bad. This your own. It's bad, where, where? Oga, you smoke Igbo this morning. <laughs> Igbo, you, you just remind me of something. You see, that time, eh, when would they build there? How much for you to just shut up and drive? <laughs> uh, now when you don't bring uh, money to the matter, <laughs> uh, no problem. You know, if you just add like another 2,000 naira, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, okay. I will give you. Please just keep quiet. Eh? Ah. It will go up for me. Uh, but meanwhile, um... 
here. We will need to. Please. But, madam. Uh, I'm supposed to be a progressive feminist and I do not have room for that kind Tumbury. of Asian thinking. No, sir. Uh, um, sorry. Can I like, get a ring with the red stone? I've always liked red. I promise I'll be surprised when you get back. Do you want... I just... I ju red? engagement for life. My name is Kay. I am a multi-millionaire and I want to take you out for lunch. I feed on the word of God. God has been feeding me. Sweet darling, your smile is like the early morning. Dear darling, sweet darling, you make me feel like president. I go to Dubai, I buy it for you. I talk to God about the moon. If he agrees, I buy you the stars. I sell Abuja just for you. Yeah, darling, 